What's up guys, Ryan again with Journal 82. I want to talk about John Deere tractors and their hydrostatic rear ends or uh, you know just any of the tractors and their hydrostatic transmissions and, and the little I know and have discovered um, since uh, researching this project. So I've got a John Deere, um, it's an LA-135 special edition mind you, can't forget that part. Um, but my family's had several of these John Deere hydrostatics over the years. Uh, they're made really well. You can really tell the difference when you're driving one. I've got a, uh, a Troy builder, a craftsman over there, and just the whole mower flexes and shakes. Um, this one just seems built better. And the hydrostatic is really nice on these. It just makes mowing quick and easy, um, especially for, you know, the women or kids or somebody that doesn't want to mess with gears and stuff. But here's the issue I've been having with this one. This mower only has 300 hours on it. And, uh, my it stopped pulling it would it would stop pulling and it would stop pulling when it got hot and i thought okay the belt must be stretched um it's you know the belt's getting hot and it's getting loose and it's stopping pulling well i started thinking about that more and there's no squeal there's no sound and the belt's not slipping when it gets hot after looking at it so then i started researching these hydrostatic transmissions and uh I put my hand up under and touched that transmission um, at, when I was mowing, uh, you know, when it got to the point where it wouldn't pull anymore. And the thing was so hot I couldn't touch it. And I know it should not, should not be that hot. So then I looked and I know there's a fan that spins around on the top of there and that's what cools that block and keeps the oil cool inside that transmission. And let me just show you what that fan looked like. This is what it looked like. This is what it should look like. So you can see the difference there. So what happens on some of the older models, the when you set the parking brake, the belt could actually fall down into the fan blades and break them off. I don't think that can happen on these models because the belt, the fan is actually up above the belt. Um, but I'll tell you what I think happened. I think I've got some sticks. Um, I ran over a stick a couple times. It would really only take like one time. You run over a stick or something, it gets up in there and uh, it's going to break these blades. So then what that ha when that happens, uh, your hydrostatic transmission is not getting enough cooling and the fluid gets too hot and it will no longer pull. Now, I've heard that if you continue to push it like that, um, eventually it will break, that oil viscosity will break down enough uh, to where it won't, you know, the transmission shot. These transmissions are a thousand dollars. So if that's the case, the whole mower would pretty much be shot. However, this thing still pulls great when it's cold. Um, I can actually mow, uh, even with the fan like that, I could actually mow for about an hour before it would get too hot and stop pulling. And usually when that were the, I only did this a few times and I would just hop on the other mower and finish because I wasn't sure what was going on. Uh, so I'm hoping that I haven't ruined it yet. Now, if, if you have ruined the oil inside, I've heard mixed information. One, I've heard that these transmissions are not serviceable. Um, you're just supposed to replace them if that happens. I've heard that you can service the fluid by, tape, by removing them, turning them upside down, and dumping it out. Or sometimes drilling and tapping a hole, putting your own drain plug in it. But this one, I noticed when I was working on it, that there is, kind of, there is a plug right here. And I'm not sure what that's for. I don't know if that would be for servicing it or not. But uh, like I said, this is the LA-135. Uh, but definitely heat was my problem. Um, I don't really want to spend, I mean, this is a pretty new tractor still. I don't really want to spend $1,000 on transmission. So I spent 15 bucks, uh, it's either 12 or 15 bucks on a fan blade on Amazon. I will put this one, um, I'll put the link to this one in the description. And uh, this one fit a ton of models, uh, including the LA-135, obviously. Uh, it's pretty easy to get to and take off. That's what I'm going to show you in the next video. So if you're having a problem like this, John, the, if the mower is not pulling when it gets hot and you don't hear any belt slippage, then it's going to be this transmission. It's probably by it's probably caused by heat, and there's a good chance it's that fan. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Let me know how stupid I am. I don't know what I'm talking about, and all that good troll stuff. And uh, I'll drop a video here right after this one, showing you guys how to swap out the fan 
on this LA-135. Thanks for watching.